welcome back to my channel I hope you've had a fantastic week in today's video I am doing a sparkly starry kind of cut crease smoky eye kind of makeup look and this makeup look was inspired by by Brookell. I swear I am so inspired by her for like every look that I do um, she's just so gorgeous and amazing so definitely go and check her out I'll leave her Instagram link down below I just love this whole trend at the moment where people are adding like glitter and stars and stuff to the center and in a corner and stuff of their eyes and I think it looks so pretty um, for when you go out or if you're going to a festival or something like that um, but you don't have to wear this to a festival you can just like take away the stars underneath your eyes and just have the stars on the top if you're going out clubbing or for a special occasion or something like that um, it feels like I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in the longest time and I actually missed filming makeup tutorials for you guys um, I was like withdrawn and as you notice on Instagram I was posting a lot of my old makeup looks from like last year um, because I had no new content and no new looks that I had been filming because I'm just so into filming like lookbooks and reviews and vlogs and stuff like that. So if you want to see some more makeup tutorials from me then definitely let me know down below. I think I kind of stopped filming makeup tutorials because they weren't getting as much engagement and as much views on YouTube um, but they were like getting lots of likes and comments and stuff on Instagram so I don't know. And by the way I just want to say thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. It like made my whole week um, and it's been such a long journey and I have enjoyed every single moment of it. Um, YouTube has definitely changed my life and I want to thank you guys for supporting me along the way. And by the way I'm doing a 20,000 giveaway in next week's video so stay tuned for that. It's going to be so huge you guys won't believe it. I spent so much money and I've put so much beauty products together for you guys and you guys are going to die when you see it. But anyway if you want to see how to get this makeup tutorial then just keep on watching. So first I'm starting with the L'Oreal Lumi Magique primer and I love this to put under my foundation as it's really moisturizing and makes my foundation look nice and glowy. And now I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation which I actually really like. When I first used this I wasn't too sure but I kept on using it and when I had the perfect color tan it just is so amazing like I love it it's nice and dewy and it's easy to blend and it's just like the perfect color and it lasts all day on my skin now I'm using the Urban Decay concealer and I really love this one as well and I'm just using this to highlight my whole face um, and I really like this concealer because it's got a big wand and it really brightens up the under eye area Now I'm using the Laura Messier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm putting this under my eyes to hide those dark circles even further and brighten up the face and I'm also putting this on the forehead, down the nose and on my chin. Now I'm taking the NYX No Filter Press Powder which is my favourite. It's not too cakey or too powdery and it sets my makeup really well um, so I'm putting that all in the areas where the translucent powder isn't. And I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is also my favorite and it smells amazing. And I'm just bronzing up my face to match my neck a little bit more and to make me look sun-kissed. And then I'm taking the Fab Brows Contour Kit, which has actually been one of my favorites. I've been using this a lot lately and I like the creamy pigmented consistency and it blends out really well. So I'm just contouring my cheekbones and my nose with this. I'm now taking that translucent powder and I'm carving out those cheekbones. I always have to do this now um, because it makes the foundation also last in that area a lot longer and it makes your cheekbones look more prominent. Now I'm using the NYX Ombre Blush and I'm putting this on my cheeks. As you can see I use a lot more NYX products recently because I have a new love for NYX and since I got seen all that stuff from the um, NYX Face Awards since I was in the top 30. Now I'm just putting on this new Too Faced Prismatic Highlighter which I love so much. I had to build it up quite a bit but it's because it was brand new I find and when I got under that first layer it went really pigmented. Um, but it's not as pigmented as my Anastasia So Hollywood one so that is still my favourite but it was still really good. And now I'm using my Fab Brows Contour Kit 
my trusty favorite. I use this every day um, when I go to work and it's just so easy to apply and it's the perfect color for me. And then I just blend the front of my brows in with a brush so it gives it that nice faded look. And I'm using some brow gel to set them down and then I use the Billion Dollar Brows highlighting pen and I put that underneath and blend it in to carve out my brows and make them look more defined. Now I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I haven't used this in so long. I've actually recently organized my makeup drawers so I saw all my eyeshadow palettes and the ones I don't use before they were like all stacked in a pile and I just used a light brown shade and I blended that in the crease back and forth with a big fluffy brush and I take a darker brown and concentrate that more into the crease with a smaller tapered blending brush. Now I'm using this light orange shade. I'm just going over that crease again, blending, blending, blending. That's the trick for a good makeup look. You just want to keep on blending and you don't want there to be any harsh lines. And I also blend this underneath the lash line as well. And then I take some white and I put this from the middle of my brow outwards to highlight the brow bone. And now I'm taking my favorite product to do cut creases with. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Magic highlighting pen. And I just go right below my crease and just carve to three quarters the way of my lid. And then I set it with some powder. And the trick is to not look up because the concealer will get on your eyeshadow and up your brow bone. So just kind of like look down and try not to smudge it until you set it. And now I'm taking a black eyeshadow and I'm blending this underneath the lower lash line and up in like a triangle effect. And I'm kind of bringing it inwards to the middle of my crease and just kind of blending it in with that concealer. Now this is a palette I haven't used in ages. As you can tell, I'm using different palettes because I sorted through my makeup collection and I can see them a lot better. And I take this nice gold shade. This is a really popular shade of the Urban Decay line. It's called Half Baked and it's really pigmented. And I just use some um, Urban Decay setting spray to make it go on even more pigmented. Now I'm taking the Glitter Injections Glitter Glue and also the Glitter Injections Glitter Pan and Insta Love and I spread that over the center of my lid um, and I'm just not packing it on in hunks, I'm kind of spreading out the glitter and I also put glitter glue underneath the lash line down into a triangle effect and put glitter down there too. And then just to add a bit more glitter I take the Chi Chi Glitter and this is like a yellowy gold color and I just compact that in a bit more. And then I take these stars, which I actually got from Spotlight, and there's different size stars, so I got the smallest ones, and I used eyelash glue. Don't use glitter glue, because that won't stick properly, use eyelash glue. And I kind of stick them all over where I placed that spread out glitter, and don't put too much on, or they'll look too over the top. I put about four stars on my eyelid, and about five or six stars down underneath. Now I'm taking this NYX liner, and I'm just doing a thin um, eyeliner on top just to hide the lash band properly when I apply those and to make my eyes stand out a little more. And now I'm taking the L'Oreal eyeliner and I'm putting this in the lower lash line in the top tight line. Then you just want to put on mascara top and bottom. And I do realize that this look is similar to my festival makeup look inspired by by Brokel a while ago. But she has done many more looks like this and I was so inspired and I love the look of glitter and stars lately so that is why I've done another look that's similar but it's still different in my opinion. And here I actually show the social eye style in Seductress but I don't actually use that because the lash band is quite thick and hard to put on so I actually use the style Fleek. Now I'm taking my favourite liquid lipstick in the whole world, the Jeffree Star um, liquid lipstick in Mannequin and it's a nice light pink shade. So now I'm taking the new L'Oreal Lip Paint Lacquer in the shade Gone With The Nude and I actually got sent a whole bunch of these from PR, it was such a cool PR package. And the lacquer formulas are really pigmented and the matte formulas are kind of sheer, like a pigmented lip gloss. Um, and the cool thing is, is that a dollar from every purchase of selected beauty products throughout July at all farmers stores will be donated to the Look Good Feel Better campaign. So this is fundraising for cancer and L'Oreal is a participating brand so every lip colour from L'Oreal um, they will be donating a dollar to this campaign. 
So I hope you guys liked this makeup tutorial and if you recreate it don't forget to tag me on Instagram or on Facebook. I love seeing all of your recreations of my looks. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye!